Hi guys, this is Addie Buckley Burnell, Associate Director of Career Development in the University Career Center, here to talk to you a little bit about interview stream. Now, we all know that interviews are an important part of the job search and that preparing as much as you can for an interview is in your best interest. One of the many ways that we allow for you to prepare before an interview is by doing a mock interview in our office. However, that may not always be convenient or you may want to be getting additional assistance. For that reason, we have an interview stream. Now, interview stream is a way for you to practice your interview skills anywhere with a webcam. So I'm going to take you through how to get to interview stream and a little bit about how to use it. And hopefully this will be a really valuable resource to you at any point in time. So on the, career, the University Career Center's website, which is career.auburn.edu, just simply go to student and then undergraduate student. You will then be able to scroll down to you see interviewing right here in the middle. When you click on interviewing, you're going to see a variety of these different options as far as how to schedule a mock interview, but also how to register for interview stream. Now you will need to have your software up to date on interview stream. Uh, you will need flash running. Okay. And make sure that you have a webcam. That's really about all you need. And you can set up your account with your Auburn email address. But remember, you're going to need to go through this actual link in order to get into the paid subscription to interview stream that we've already paid for you. You will not need to pay for anything. All right, so when you set up your account, register with any password you want with your Auburn email address, and this will be what you see. Now, if you see here, it does have recommendations for using either Google Chrome or Firefox when doing your interview. Um, if you are having any issues, you are always able to download the mobile app and you can do it from your phone as well, all right? But do use Chrome or Firefox because they do work best on this site. All right, so there's a few things that you might come across with interview stream. Some of your classes may be using interview stream for an assignment. And in that case, you will either have been given a link directly to the interview set of questions, or you'll be given a code. Now, if you are given a code, you're going to see this option over here for that assignment code. And when you click register, it'll bring you directly to the assignment resources. However, you're also going to have a few other options. All right. So right now you won't see quite as many of these views on here because I'm an admin on the site, but you will typically have the elements here. Uh, what you're going to want to start with is conducting an interview. Now, if you at any point need some assistance with the site, I will tell you there's some great resources here, um, down here, and there are also some great tutorials in the site. So don't ever be afraid to go to this training support option up on the top left because they have some really great tutorial resources in the site. But if you go to conduct an interview, it is going to ask you if you either want a interview that's already been created or a custom interview. Now I'll tell you the pre-made interviews are really helpful for ones that we see a lot. So especially things like the nursing mock interview, if you're coming in for any kind of next day interview from a career fair, uh, let's see, we have some professional program mock interviews, some general ones, all right, please feel free to use any of these if they would be useful for you. However, you also have the assignments there too. You also can make your own interview. And I encourage you to take a look at this, even if you've already had a pre-made one in the system. By creating your own interview, you get the chance of seeing a lot of different interview questions you may have never experienced otherwise. Now, what will happen here is you will see that the questions are sorted by types of positions. All right. And then of course there's general lists, like the most common, um, analytical or ones measuring specific things that you know that might be helpful in your area. There's case questions, diversity, personality. All right. So whatever your area of interest might be, if you click on it, you will see a variety of different questions here. If you click on the plus sign, it will start adding those questions to the right hand side. Now, once you've added all the questions you're interested in answering, you will simply say start my interview. Now at this point, it's going to test out your microphone and your camera. All right, it'll do a check to make sure everything is working properly. It'll look a little different for me right now. All right, now once everything is working properly, an actual, and it won't happen because I'm recording right now, uh, but an actual video of someone behind a desk asking you the question will turn up. All right, when you 
when they're finished asking the question, it will have a countdown, and then you will be able to record your response. If it is one that you've created the interview yourself, you'll be able to stop, re-record, delete, re-record as much as you want. Some of the assignments may have a cap on that or may not allow for you to re-record, but for yourself, you can do it as much as you want. You then can go back in and watch your video. I know everyone just dies to watch their own video, uh, but it is important for you to see how you come across or if you could start counting things like the amount of times you said um or the amount of times you fidgeted. It's a good way for you to kind of polish some of those answers. Now, no one else will ever see this unless you send them the link. And so you can actually send the link to someone that you care about or that you trust their opinion to give you feedback. And they can even fill out an evaluation form within the system. In fact, the class assignments, many of your professors will give you line by line feedback and general score information in the assignment. And you can look at that and review how you have been reported. So incredibly useful. You can use this as much as you want. It's not a one time only. You can build as many interviews as you want, get some advice from some of these quick tip resources down here. And then of course, feel free to share that resource with anyone that you trust. Hopefully that was helpful for you today. It takes a little bit of the mystery out from this resource. And again, you can practice anywhere, anytime with the webcam. Let me know if you have any questions. You can reach us at career at auburn.edu.